Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber and today I will be recreating this Violet Charlie and a Chocolate Factory Halloween look that I saw on Pinterest and I'll insert my inspiration here. And this is the first video out of a couple of videos that I'm going to be doing this month, a part of my Halloween series. I love Halloween. I'm always in my Halloween bag, but I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look. And first, we're just going to start with doing my eyebrows. They're going to look crazy for a while, but don't be alarmed. So here I'm trying to mix red and blue paint and I realized that this is not the color that I wanted. So I went ahead and tested this white crayon that I got from the Halloween store and then I just used some translucent powder to make it less oily and creamy. And then I went in with this purple color in this BH Cosmetics palette and also purple in this Morphe palette. And I tested it with a little eyeshadow brush and it ended up working out great. Back to my brows. Back to life. Back to reality. <laughs> Here I tried to make my eyebrows purple and I realized that that is not how you do it. Like you're supposed to conceal your eyebrows first. So I wiped it off and I put glue back on the eyebrow and then I dried it with my fan then I just used a concealer to cover up my brows as best as I could I'm not a professional if you guys have any tips on how I can get it to be like literally invisible then let me know down below but then I realized that my eyebrows were uneven so I had to literally create a new line and I did this new eyebrow and purple so it can match the look and I think it came out really really great considering I've never tried to make a new eyebrow before <laughs> And then I realized that I did want to clean up the eyebrows a little bit. Now this was a little tricky because I didn't want to have too much foundation on this side because I didn't want the, you'll see later, I didn't want the white to mix with the brown and make it just look nasty. But um, I think that I cleaned it up as best as I possibly could. But if you can get it cleaner, then kudos to you because you really don't want to mix that white with any foundation colors. And do you see that purple brow? Mm, 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 mm. so cool so I started trying to do half of my face with the foundation and I realized I should draw my outline for the drips um that are going to be on the other half of my face first rather than going in with the foundation um so here you just see me drawing the line I tried to make as much of a teardrop shape as possible um, because that's how you make it look like it's dripping definitely get that teardrop motion going um, as you can see, it was a lot of trial and error, and thank God I didn't have foundation on too much of my face, so it was easy to wipe off, but definitely just got a nice little skinny white pencil, also got that at the Halloween store, and just did these teardrop shapes along my face. So once I was satisfied, I went on the other side of my face and I started doing my foundation and just making that side of my face, you know, flawless, made up and everything that it needs to be. So it's just my regular makeup routine just on the other half of my face. And in the reference photo, I saw that the girl had a dark, like really, really dark purple eye. 
Um, I tried my best to do the same and recreate that same look. I really don't enjoy dark purple eyes because it makes me look like I have a black eye and it also kind of ages me a little. So definitely try to stay away from it as much as possible. So I try to cater it to my eye and what I like. So I just went ahead and I did the light purple on the outside and then I did this deep purple in my crease. And then I also dragged that purple under my eye as well to you know make it more halloweeny and also like make it as close to the picture as possible but still to my liking and then i took this jumbo white crayon that i also got from the halloween store and i just started filling in my little teardrop drips drips and then i also went in with a skinnier pencil to get like the fine 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 lines <music> Now, because when I tested it out on my arm, I realized that it was so greasy that I needed translucent powder. So I just used translucent powder all over wherever I put the white at. Definitely recommend using a clean brush because I think my brush had a little bit of brown in it, but it's all good. It's all good. Now, this is when I started to fill in the purple on my face. So I just used a flat eyeshadow brush and it was pretty big so I can get like, you know, bigger sections done. And the trick to this is definitely to tap and move. Do not stay in one place too long. You definitely want to spread that color out, um, but definitely don't rub it. Tap, tap it and move, tap it and move. Definitely don't rub because you're going to mess up the white base that you have underneath tap and move like plucking a lace front you don't want to stay in one place too long or you're gonna mess it up now this part took a while but i finally got it and then for the little edges i used a smaller brush but then i realized i should keep the edges white so that way when i go in with the darker shade as you'll see later that it really pops so i left the edges white <laughs> So I'm going in with this smudge brush and I'm just putting in that deep purple right all around the corners, all around every drip, every corner, getting it in real tight. Then I'm taking this mini fluffy brush with that pur same purple and I'm just diffusing out the color. Not trying to diffuse the line I just made, but just trying to add a little bit of a shadow effect. I know this is kind of... Uh, confusing but i hope you guys are following along i didn't diffuse out the line i made i just added more purple to the outside if that makes sense And then here I am filling my eyebrows back in with that purple color because I feel like it got a little bit lost in translation when I was doing everything else that I was doing and I definitely wanted the purple eyebrows to pop. So here I am replicating my other eye on the new side of my face that has all the purple on it now. I'm trying to get it as close as possible to the other side because obviously like my other <laughs> This half of my face is not brown, so I had to make sure like I really went in a couple times into that purple to make it match. And then I know in the reference photo, she didn't have like a glitter eye or anything, but I love a good glitter eye. So I just popped some glitter on my lid so that way the look can be glam because why not? And then I'm going to pop on some dramatic lashes. I'm sure that I got these from Amazon. You know, Amazon always coming through. Eyebrows. <laughs> Making my eyelashes blend with some mascara. Y'all know the deal. Come on. And then here, I'm taking that same color that I put on my lid and also this 
other sparkly purple color in the palette, the Morphe palette. And I am putting that all over my face to give this glimmer shine effect. I've seen it done before on different, I'll insert some pictures on different recreations of Violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I thought that it would be perfect to help, you know, fill in some of the purple gaps that I had. So here I'm taking this white liner from NYX and I'm trying to create this cartoony drip illusion. And at first I just went in straight with the pencil that comes with the eyeliner, but then I realized that I needed the angle eyeliner to, you know, have a better grip of like what I'm doing. Definitely highly recommend using this angled eyeliner to do the little white spot for the drips. Got this from e.l.f. at Target, so it was probably like $2. So highly, highly, highly recommend using this method to get the white lines. And then finally, I'm taking that same glitter that I had on my eye and in my face and I'm putting it on my lips and I'm just giving myself this uh, kind of, it reminds me of a unicorn, but giving my lips this purple tint. I didn't have any purple lipstick or anything, but I think it came out really, really cool and really, really nice and unicorny. It's giving me Justin Sky vibes if you feel where I'm going with that. <laughs> But that is the completed look, everyone. I did attempt to spray paint this blonde wig purple to really match the character in the movie, but it didn't turn out right. So you're just going to see how I finessed in the end. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, so this is the final completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it, okay? Please enjoy the, this a TikTok that I tried to create while I was making this video. And I will see you guys in my next Halloween recreation or if you subscribe in my next video. Bye. What's happening to your face? Call it, Dad. Let me finish. Yeah, but your face is turning blue. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet.